Mistakes ladies must avoid when planning to settle down. I will marry him because he is my tribe. The fact that he is your tribe does not make him good for you. I will marry him because he is rich. The fact that he is rich now does not mean he will be rich forever. What if the table turns tomorrow? Can you endure? What will you do? I will marry him because he was the one who took my flower. The fact that he's the one who took your virginity doesn't make him good for you in marriage. Maybe he just took advantage of your ignorance and weakness. Don't be deceived. I will marry him because he is good looking, looks are not stable, looks do change with age. What if he had an accident and lost some of his body parts? Will he still be your very best? Though we are not praying for that, but don't marry because of looks, it fades away. All these are negative reasons for marriage. Everyone marry a man who can lead you. Marry a man who is God-fearing and believes in him. Marry a man who has a dream and purpose. Marry a man with great skills and potential. Marry a man who can play with you and pray for you. Marry a man with whom you have a future. Marry a man who understands you and can tolerate you. Marry a man who makes you happy, irrespective of his tribe education, financial status, and physical look.